<laughs> and I also feel like also men take advantage of us when uh -huh. it comes to money. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying this in regards to a uh, Benga musician known as Queen Jane. She passed on um, when? In 2010 due to a long-term illness, according to the, maybe the doctor. But the sisters went on an interview and they said that she died because of depression from, the, her, from her toxic marriage. Wow. She got married to one Mr. James Kariuki and he allegedly took advantage of the wife. He, he used to withdraw all the money from her bank account, according to the, the sisters, Lady Wanja and Pri Princess Angie. And they only found out when she was in hospital. So he's there like stealing her money, beating her, I don't know what, and she suffered in silence. So I'm just curious, I'm just thinking, what do you think we need to share in our marriages with our friends and family to avoid such, to avoid mm -hmm. someone taking advantage of you and beating you? Like, you can't suffer in silence. What mm -hmm. are some of the things that we have to tell, we have to share with someone else? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think like sometimes it goes, we, we have to put ourselves in the mind of the abusee, yeah? As much as we go and sit over here, don't, if you're being mistreated, go ahead and say. If you're being beaten, go ahead and say. If that was the case, then no one would be in, a, in an abusive relationship. That would be like out the window and everything because as long as you go and tell somebody this and this is happening to me, that means you're in a state of mind to want to leave that situation. The problem comes in when you're in a toxic relationship and you're not willing to remove yourself from that toxic relationship. You know what I mean? Because you can tell how how many family members and people do we know who are in really bad relationships, where it's even physically abusive, they complain to you, and but don't they forget, don't go. They even say things mm -hmm. like, oh, you're not going to When exactly. you see someone, yeah. even your neighbor walking with a black eye, or someone, eh, I'm not going to you. And exactly. these are people that you actually see, experiences of people that you actually see. Yeah. So, yeah, so I feel like, like the problem is like now we have to find a way, I don't know how, but I'll find a way to like counsel that person where they can reach a point of like, first of all, ex ex having more value for themselves as a human being and be able to lift themselves up out of that situation. Mm. Because you're just telling people, yeah, by the way he beats me, by the way he mistreats me, by the way he takes away all my money, he does all these things. We know so many people who are in that situation and it's just the norm. That relationship is a hot mess and we're just looking like this, like, guy, yeah, in a kuanga yeah, And you know, it's so sad that he even went on, he allegedly faked that they got married. Wow. First, yes, at first they, they did it traditionally and then later on, they are church. Can you imagine? That is so sad. But I think in this particular case, the thing that I am looking at most is that trust. Because this is your money. It's your bank account. That means that this person has access to your information, to your credentials. Do you just wake up in the morning and give someone your pin? But you would give your husband or now, your that's wife. That's the thing. I feel like we need to start looking at things from perspective of, look, am I trusting enough of you? And once you realize, because she probably knew that's why she's in depression. That's why she's stressed about these things. She probably knew that this guy was actually taking advantage of her. And therefore, you still have the chance and the ability to stop the situation from where it is. Nip it in the bud. If someone is spending your money and they're spending it horribly and you feel like you've worked so hard to come up with this money and someone is just uselessly, you know, frivolously living with your, your money and just extorting the living daylights out of you, you can stop it. So what we need to start thinking about, exactly what we said, I think, earlier on in the week, when it comes to marriage counseling, we are only taught the basic things. Take care of your yeah. man. You need to have constant communication. But what happens when there is a communication breakdown? I've told you, please stop using my money like this. I am trying to buy a house. We're trying to make an investment here or there or the other thing. And this person is still taking advantage of you. This person is still taking money out of your account. You've mm. seen people who've actually, we have, we have a savings account. It is We know that this savings account is to buy a car for so-and-so or yeah. to buy a new house yeah. or to, re like, what do you call it? renovate a house yeah. and then you find out that this guy took money out of your account and what did they do with it the the friend was having a bachelor party so they decided to <laughs> to rent them a ship to do charter them a flight yeah. that makes no sense to me you see we've had a communication we've spoken we've agreed that this is what we're doing with this money but yet someone else will take advantage of you so these are things that we need to start taking back to the counselors who are giving people marriage counseling the preachers who are consistently telling you that before you get into a marriage, you have to go for counseling. And this happens. Mm -hmm. If you have to get married in a church, don't they always give you, like, I think it's a month of counseling or something yeah. like but that. But the kind of counsel that they're giving you it's from not their relevant. perspective doesn't it is even, just it's the not same yeah. as they used to counsel people like 10 years ago. It's ago, not 10, relevant. 20 years it's ago, not and things have updated. Changed. Exactly. And what I don't like is that 
we as women, we lose ourselves once we get married or when we get in relationships. Mm -hmm. That is why we're getting depressed. You love this person and you used to go to the gym, you used to go sing karaoke, you used to do ABCD. You stop doing that because you're now focusing on this one person, mm -hmm. surely. That's how you get depressed and start doing everything that they ask you to do. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. true. Because if you don't have a life of your own, you will end up living the life yes. that they're leading or the life that you've established as a par as a couple. Yeah. And so let's, let's start getting serious about things like our finances. Please, just please, if you have to go to the bank and stop that account or just close it. You think if you're in an mm -hmm. abusive relationship you where would he's be able like, to do he, he it. would be able to do it. That's what I'm saying. We need to put our mind in, in, in an abuse yeah. person. You know, and maybe we need to uh, be in more of a culture of having um, therapy throughout your whole entire life like mm, right now even yeah. as things are good so that as you're, you're starting to date this person you can now go into the nitty-gritty so he does this and this the person tells you that's not okay mm -hmm. this is not okay blah blah so that you can stop it before you get to a point where it's five so years crazy. ten years into the marriage he's depleted your whole account he's beaten you you're scared to death are you really going to stop him and remove him from the account you know it's, there's so many things we just ha have to have a culture of sharing information with other people so okay. if you're not sharing it with your friends then share it with someone who you trust yes. like a psychiatrist a psychologist, mm -hmm. someone who's actually there to help you as an individual. You don't even have to make it a couple thing. Mm -hmm. You can just have your I own sessions. I think all sessions. individuals yeah. in general should go and seek psych, uh, psychology, like psychological, psychological help, help. Yeah. in general. And that doesn't mean that you're crazy. You just need some help to go ahead and figure out your feelings. Sort yourself yeah. out. 777 622 Do you know anybody who is in a toxic relationship and everybody knows that story and it's just become the norm? And if you know that person, what are you doing to be able to help that person out? Mm -hmm. So let's just not be the, uh, the silent viewers and everything, watching people's lives as if it's a movie.